All right, everyone, so we are going to begin working on our African-inspired mask. So you're going to need some supplies for the first few steps in this. So something you'll need for planning purposes is you will need paper. You will need a pencil. You will need scissors. You will need cardboard. And you will also need glue. So you're going to gather these materials, and then we're going to get started. Assuming you have a piece of paper nearby, um, don't use good drawing paper, just use, this is a flimsy piece of like printing paper. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna use this to make my template of my mask shape. So I'm gonna fold this in half because we noticed that all of the mask designs were symmetrical. So if I crease it, that's gonna give me a line of symmetry. So I'm gonna use this as my template for how am I going to build this mask out of cardboard. So what I'll do is I'll start drawing on the crease side. So I noticed a lot of the face shapes of the mask like I liked, like one in particular that was kind of an oval shape, but it was a little pointy at the end. So I think I'm gonna do something like that. So all I have to do is draw half of that mask shape. So I'm gonna start on the crease side. That's why I'm showing you the paper here opens up, but the crease is here. So I'm gonna start here, kind of near the top. I'm gonna come out for the side any features like ears, horns, anything that you want to add to the mask, you're going to do that later. So you're just doing a basic face shape now. So I'm drawing down until I touch the crease again. What I will do is go ahead and cut this out while it is still folded in half. So I have my scissors that I mentioned nearby. So I'm going to take this, cut on the line so it will look like the shape. And notice I'm cutting through both sides of the paper. So I held it on the crease, so I would start on the crease and I end on the crease. So then I don't want to have two pieces when I open this up. I just want to have one. So this is the plan for my mask face shape that I'm going to take and transfer to the cardboard. So you're going to go ahead and get that ready and then I will show you the next few steps.